everybody. I hope you're doing well today. Welcome back to Heidi's Humble Home. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by and giving me a try. So today, no decorating. I know, a little disappointing, I'm sure. But uh, I'm going to take you along and let you see what I'm cooking for dinner tonight. Um, it's creamy orzo and asparagus and Parmesan cheese and scallops. I know, this actually would be a good date night or Valentine's Day, maybe dinner. Um, I came home from work, quickly put on some comfy clothes, not sure what's going on with the hair, but anyway, I want to come and show you guys uh, this dinner. It's the first time I'm making it. I will link the recipe. Sometimes I wing it a little bit because it's only me and Frank. All right, as you can see, I've got some water boiling for the orzo. I just lowered it a little bit. This is going to be to cook the asparagus, and this is going to be to kind of pretty much um, cook everything in after. after. We're going to saute some scallops and onions and uh, put everything together. So here's the ingredients, really. It's some chopped up onion, butter. You can use, um, I'm trying to think what the recipe called for, but I'm going to use some coconut milk. And I've got some bay scallops, asparagus, and I don't know if you know, this is one of the ways at least to keep um, asparagus when you get home. Fill it with a little bit of water to cover the stems. And then I just put the plastic bag that I um, put them in in the supermarket and you cover them. Uh, and that's how they stay in the fridge. So let's start with step one. So when I'm cooking up the asparagus, um, I'm just gonna take a few out at a time. I know sometimes you break them and the weakest part will fall off, but I pretty much just line them up to be honest with you. Keep that bag down for my trash. And I'm just gonna cut them about this much. That should be fine. And then we'll cut these maybe in threes. I think would be nice. Okay. Um, let me put them in this dish for now. Let's see if stick them in here. That. Uh, I'll keep this nearby. Here we go. I'll put it over here. Um, I'm going to cut. So this is just a bunch that I got um, from the supermarket. And I uh, figured this should be enough for that recipe. You know, if there's leftovers, there's leftovers. Everything's so expensive now, it's nice to have leftovers, right? And also, it's something... You know, a meal that you don't have to think about for one night, right? All right, we're gonna start by sauteing some onions in some butter, some melted butter. So we'll just put that in. Let's get a little bit soft. Get a spoon. Just kind of move them around a little bit. All right, so my water's boiling. Let's get that orzo in there. I did a cup and a half for me and Frank. Um, I think that'll be plenty. Stir the orzo in between. I love orzo. I could just eat orzo, melted butter, and some Parmesan cheese, and that could be my supper. <laughs> I don't think Frank would be too excited about that. You know, men, they like a nice, big, hearty supper. And once these are sauteed pretty good, let me get that bowl back, and we'll put them back in the bowl. So a little bit more here. And we're gonna remove these and cook the bay scallops. Okay, and then we'll cover those with foil because they don't take too long, actually. All right, so I think I'm gonna take these off. And I'm just gonna put them back in the little glass bowl that I had them in. And I believe they want me to add a little more butter. I'm following the recipe the right way. Well, it's funny, sometimes you read a recipe and you just kind of adjust it to your household, right? That's kind of what I do for me and Frank. All right, so I have rinsed the base scallops and patted them dry, okay? All right, we're just gonna put these in and all you do is saute these for like four or five minutes. And we're going to put them on a plate and cover them with foil. All right, I've drained my scallops and I'm going to put them in uh, this heated dish. They want you to put in a heated dish. Cover them with foil. And those just get set aside. We're going to uh, drain the orzo now. 
So I've drained the orzo and for now I just kind of kept it in the pan off the burner and the asparagus is almost done cooking. All right, everybody. What they want you to do actually at the end is put everything in a big mixing bowl, but I'm gonna kind of do it in a the pan. Okay, so once the asparagus is done and the orzo is done, mix them together. Actually put this on low. Scrape out some of that orzo. Put in another couple tablespoons of butter. Get that melted in there. And I'm going to add some cheese. Add my onion back. And we had set aside. Add some cheese. I'm not even measuring, guys. Okay, so what we're going to do is mix this up. So the butter gets incorporated, the Parmesan cheese melts. Mm. So once you think that's all kind of melted in, right, you're going to add, they want you to use whipping cream. I'm going to be a little bit more on the healthier side, and I'm going to add coconut milk. Okay, it's thick like that. You'll see a coating on the top, but that's okay. You can mix it up after, but I'm... Just taking it right from the top, adding a half a cup. Put that in. And you can't even really tell the difference, guys. You really can't. All right, so now I've added in that coconut milk, right? Stir this in really nice. Then I'm going to add in the scallops. parsley going, and salt and pepper. So this really did not take too long. And makes a nice weeknight meal. I guess it's Monday. I believe I said it's Monday earlier, right? So it didn't take me that long. Not a lot of ingredients, which is nice, right? And here's your supper, guys. Look at that. Plate, a nice or a pasta bowl, plate it up for you so you can see how pretty it looks and how nice. Yeah. And that is what is for supper tonight. Look at that. And like I said, it's from Pinterest. Um, and I will link it in the uh, description box. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching me make that recipe. And uh, I hope to see you real soon. See you later, everybody. Make the recipe.